What's up guys, this is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, Happy New Year's. So let's start with the character whom the last figure I reviewed is all insulting and screaming, which is Ratchet. But today we here we have the Studio Series Deluxe Class Ratchet from Bumblebee. So let's get to it. First of all, talk about the design. This Ratchet version, I feel like this is a combination of, you know, the Michael Bay design add with the G1 and a little bit from the War for Cybertron trilogy. I mean the game, not the cartoon. So of course here we still have the classic G1 Ratchet and we have some mechanical details outside as for this uh, surface which takes from Michael Bay and then the aesthetics like you know the bulkiness from the War for Cybertron trilogy but with this time reduce the legs and arms a little bit so here we have it and I think this is a great attempt to make a nice deluxe class Ratchet figures. So now let's get the details of this guy. So first up for the face this ratchet brings back something that I was not expecting, which is light piping. And that was like pleasantly surprised, so I'm gonna turn him around. As you can see, this is a really nice clear blue piece of plastic. And this will shine through the eyes, which is really, really nice. So, th and that is otherwise the head is comprised of this and then a white piece of plastic. And for the white piece, you got a painted fin. This is painted red, but only for the front size. So if you're gonna look from the other side, this is like white. So that looks really funny. So yeah, this can be painted really easy. No problems at all. And then the face. I mean like I just love this face sculpt of him. This face sculpt look really nice. And with the light pipe, it creates a, a um, aging look over Ratchet. And this is like the paint got in silver. Really, really nice. Moving down to the torsos and then one really nice thing about this torso is that the entire chest is a big piece of clear blue plastic. So it is really nice. You got a lot of pain going on. But then there's a problem. If you look at these two pain here, they don't exactly match because the upper part is the white plastic and this is the white paint. And obviously that this is a th really thick white paint. But it works on the shelf so no problems at all. You got a painted Autobot logos here. This is painted in silver. So they paint this outside. So you might want to be careful with this because it might scratch really easily. So actually this red and gray section down here as well. They are all, they are the same piece of plastic, but they got painted. So that is like a lot of paint going on this figure. And I really like that. I mean like that is like a big step up for the deluxe versions. And I absolutely enjoy this, this careful two details here. And for the shoulders and the arm, of course, you still got that red painted line over here and the gray area of the of the arms as well. This is really nice. And I in, I actually I really like the, the use of the gray here. So like you got the white of the shoulders and then the kind of black, the metallic black on for the joints and then the white and for the grays. I mean, like this is some really nice color design over here. This is really good. And then for the legs, the legs is what surprised me the most. You got that really nice thick boy leg, but then looks really strong. And then you got a set of fake wheels over here. I gotta say it right out loud. This is a fake wheels that got painted. So yeah, this guy has four wheels and the two main wheels are high inside the body. So this is somewhat really nice over here. You got some paint here and there. You got some gray paint and some red paint. And yeah, that should be it. Now I'm gonna turn him around to say that. One of this guy's weakness here is the hollow leg. I wish that they are not hollow. At first, I thought that they're gonna give him an excellent articulation, but it's actually not. So I figured that some third parties will eventually gonna, you know, do some part fillers now for him. And that should fix the problem. And about the tire, the tires are made of black plastic. And they got some white paint on it. So this is uh, the way that I'm not gonna worry because like, you know, for some figures, they are like, the entire tire is white and they paint the outside but for this guy or they they do that in the reverse way so they paint the inside so no worries for paint tripping so one thing for notice about this figure is that he used two different type of plastic so the first one here is somewhat of a gloss plastic so that is like really nice and glossy but then the second one is for the thighs the shoulders and the hips they are somewhat of a, of a mixed white color so this can get dusted really easily so please do be careful with handling this figure over time. 
First of all, like, I mean, aesthetics wise, I really like this guy for the keyboard less body that I really enjoy a transformer for the, with eventually no keyboards at all. But like I have said many times, this is what happened when they get to design a Cybertronian vehicle out of it mode. Because for the Cybertronian, they can do anything they want with no care about the ships and size or anything at all because it's not of our world. So that is like really easy. So now for some comparison, I want to bring in a figure that I don't like that much. So here we have him next to our beloved Earthrise Ratchet. So as you can see, this is clearly a two attempts. As for the Earthrise Ratchet, they try to stick with the original cartoon as much as they can. So in a result in a very bulky looking robot mode. But for the Bumblebee's Ratchet, you know, this is more a modern slicker but yet strong design. So of course, I'm going to still prefer the Bumblebee's Ratchet. And now let's get to some action and articulation. So the articulation begins with the head. You can look up and da down a little bit. His head can turn 360. As for the arms, shoulders, arms move out, shoulders spin. You got a uh, bicep swivel. This is the bend of the elbow, 90 degrees bend. And sadly no hands articulation due to the way it's transformed. The, you got a waist swivel, full 360, no hints at all, and some really funny things happening going on here. So apparently this guy got a tap, apparently this guy got a tap, but I can't, I haven't found a way to tap this in, so I'm gonna lift this here because then it gives me some really nice side to size pose like this, and I, I'm really impressed by this one. This is a kick to the front, kick to the back. No problem at all. You got a beautiful split. This is the... You got a thigh swivel. This is the bend of the knee. Sadly, 90 degree bends. I thought it gonna be better, but then uh, you got some uh, feet movement. And you got a pivot. Articulation wise, this guy is amazing. I love the way he poses and he can get me to a lot of poses I want. And to be honest, if I'm gonna rate this guy poses, I'm gonna rate a 9 out of 10. The only problem that I wish that he could have been better is the hands. I wish that we could have some other options with the hand instead of just like that old transformer hands. And for accessories, he only comes with a gun. And I guess we cannot ask too much because he got like, I don't know, a second screen time in the film. So this is the gun and I can I must say that this is really movie accurate, which is really nice. This is the same color as the joints. so. Yeah, really nicely done, transformer gun. So to attach it, to attach it, you're just gonna plug it onto his hand like that. And you can do that on both of the hands. And if you want to store it, then you got this little tab over here. Turn him around and just stick that in. I mean like, this is decent enough for weapon storage. So now let's get to transformation. Finish transforming Ratchet, what will result? I guess it's called a Cybertronian van thingy? I mean, it looks like a van and uh, honestly, I don't know, I don't have anything to call it besides that. Except for in this mode, we got some new more p paint piece. You got some red paint onto the middles and if you flip it around, you see like, you see the heads only and pretty much cable free. I, so, I mean, that is all I can say. Uh, of course, you can still store his weapon in this mode. You're gonna take this gun and plug it onto this hole right here. I mean, like decent enough for. And now uh, he actually looks like an armored vehicle, more than a van. So here's for the last size comparison. Here we have him next to the Earthrise Ratchet. And as you can see, for the size, Earthrise Ratchet is clearly superior. He is taller and longer. 
So should you get this figure? A hundred percent yes, you should get him. And this is a really good mode, so I actually not mind having Iron High next. So yeah, for conclusion, I love Ratchet from now on. So I hope this video helps you guys in determining should you get this figure or not. And so that will be it for today, guys. So I will see you guys later. Tonton out.